Ankylosaurus, undoubtedly one of the most popular dinosaurs. It's literally an armored tank of an animal, and because of that, it has shown up in various different forms of media, specifically in Jurassic Park and later Jurassic World. But how similar is this design to its real-life counterpart? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Personally, I have a general rule of thumb that if you can tell what the design is supposed to represent, then it's a good design. So does that logic apply to the Ankylosaurus? Well, I can definitely tell that this is an Ankylosaurus, especially considering that it's a pretty good representation of the way we thought it looked in the 90s which definitely fits the overall style of the first three films, but, you know, to be fair, Ankylosaurus was in the third film briefly, so that may have some bearing on the, on the design as a whole. But in any case, let's get started. We'll go ahead and look at the overall shape of the animal. In Jurassic World, it's actually pretty stubby with longer legs. Ankylosaurus in life had a more elongated body with legs that held it closer to the ground. Next up is its famous osteoderms. In the movie, they're shown as all being connected in one giant armor piece with rows of bumps. Ankylosaurus actually had regular skin on its back that continued from its belly, but still did have rows of osteoderms. But it would be a lot more sparse than what was portrayed in the movie, which is more akin to that of an armadillo or a turtle. Moving on to the head, Jurassic World shows it being a bit shorter with almost a parrot-like beak. In life, the animal has a more elongated head with a flat beak, but honestly the osteoderms located on the head look pretty good. Some smaller things to point out are the spikes on both sides of the Jurassic World design's body, something that wasn't really present in life, at least not to this extent and the feet being portrayed a little bit more like elephant feet when in reality they looked strange. And lastly, and quite famously, the club. The club on the real Ankylosaurus was smoother and flatter than it was in the movie, but the overall shape is correct, uh, and hopefully one day we can see it uh, put it to some better use. One could hope. But yeah, that was Ankylosaurus. But now, full disclosure, uh, the whole point of these videos is simply to educate about the real-life animal. It's in no way a dig on the actual Jurassic franchise, which I absolutely love. Like, by me comparing the real-life animal to its Jurassic version doesn't mean that I'm calling the Jurassic version a bad design. In fact, especially with the Ankylosaurus design, I actually really like the way that it looks because it's extremely reminiscent of the way that we thought the animal looked like in the 90s. And I had several toys that looked like that because, as a result of that thing, so it's something that I'm incredibly nostalgic about. Yes, I am 100% aware that they have the explanation that, you know, their genomes are not pure. I'm completely aware of that, um, but to be completely fair with the Ankylosaurus, we actually see the Ankylosaurus in the prologue and it looks exactly the same as it does uh, in the present period, so juggle with that a little bit <laughs> but anyway this is this is a really good design um i hope we see ankylosaurus more in the future it's really a cool dinosaur and like i alluded to before hopefully we get to see it do a little bit more i mean it, it's nice to see it defend itself because you often don't see herbivores defend themselves in dinosaur uh media so that was that was really cool but hopefully we get to see it do a little bit more in the future I'm just spitballing by this point, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day.